Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to this week's tutorial where I will be showing you how to fix some errors in a mesh that has been brought over from some AutoCAD program like SolidWorks or Inventor. Now, when you export from these softwares and bring it into a program like 3ds Max or Blender, a lot of the times the software that does the exporting, so Inventor or SolidWorks, doesn't really care about the quality of the mesh, unfortunately. So, before you go into rendering or bring it into a game engine, there are some things we have to fix first. And I'll be going over what to look for, how to spot these, and how to fix them. So, it, this mesh was sent to me by somebody, and if we look at it in edit mode, we can see that it's not the cleanest mesh, but because this is a solid object and it's not going to be deforming an animation, we can actually leave this the way it is. We don't have to clean it up too much. However, I will have a separate video cleaning up this entire mesh, but we really don't need to clean up this entire thing. However, there are some problems that we will face. For example, if we this is going to be really hard to see on the video. So if I make this in, if I shade this flat, you can see that there are these weird uh, poles here. If I look at this from the angle, where this whole uh, this whole front surface is supposed to be smooth and curved. However, we have all these little flat areas that are just really funky, and those are going to cause problems. And we also have some black geometry. And what do I mean by that? It's these little uh, errors of overlapping polygons or Z fighting in the back and I'll show you how to fix those as well so first things first we want to simplify the work we want to do so go into the front view and the first thing I notice about this mesh is that there is a line of symmetry going right down the center so I can turn off the limit selection to visible I can hit B to bring up box select and I can select the entire left half and simply delete the faces and then I can select any remaining vertices and hit X and delete those and now I can apply a mirror modifier across the, for this model it's on the Z axis and I want to make sure clipping is on Cl what clipping does is clipping merges the polygons uh, or merges the vertices that are connecting to the axis for example if I turn off clipping and grab this I can bring this all the way over all the way across the axis however if clipping is on it merges when it hits the center I can't drag it across so we want to make sure clippings on now the next thing I want to do is I want to remove doubles which is a problem that unfortunately happens a lot in these models where there's a bunch of vertices and they actually overlap on top of each other so I'm going to a W and then I'm going to hit remove doubles and as you can see up at the top, we've removed 965 vertices. That is a lot. And then with everything still selected, I'm going to hit space and I'm going to search tries, T-R-I-S. And I'm going to click on tries to quads. And if I go in here and look at this edge and just undo that and redo that, you can see it's cleaned up the mesh quite a lot and made our job easier. Now the thing is, there is some overlapping vertices, so, or sorry, not overlapping vertices, polygons that didn't necessarily meet at the center, they overlapped, so when we deleted one side of the mesh, we left these holes in the back. So I'm simply going to fix these holes. I'm going to delete this face, then I'm going to select this edge, whoops, not that edge, this edge, not the top or the bottom. Uh, maybe it'd be easier if I just selected this edge mad, uh, manually. And now what clipping allows me to do is I can just extrude this on the y-axis and it'll all merge in the center. And then I can just go ahead and clean up these last few vertices right here. Oops. Merge at last. At last. And then this one was already uh, cleaned up, so that's good. Remove doubles. Okay. It's always good to remove doubles every once in a while. And now we still got some errors up here. So let's patch that hole. And this one up here, I'm actually just going to select these two edges and hit F to create a face in between. And that should be all holes on our mesh. 
So now let's go ahead and fix this weird creasing along the front edge. So as you can see, the creasing is due to it being very round around these edges. Because the reason there's a curvature is because there's a lot of vertices. So there's a lot of vertices along this edge. However, they all merge at one vertice, meaning this entire area right here is flat. And so we need to make sure that that is curved as well. So I am actually going to just delete all these faces. I'm going to go into face select and then I'm going to hit C to bring up brush select and just select all the vertices all the way up the center. And then I'm going to go back down and we can see that this kind of overlaps. So right here, we have a line that goes up our entire mesh. If I zoom out here, we can see this entire line that goes up our mesh. And then we have our singular polygons right here that kind of break that line. So we are going to deselect these because we don't want to delete these just yet. And that looks like the last of them. So I'm going to X delete faces. And then I'm going to use the knife tool and simply fit these to that line. So now we have that and now I can delete this face. And I can actually go through and select these edges and hit X dissolve edges. And now we've made a quad where we want a quad. Made another quad here. And then I can hit K to do the bring up the knife tool. Make another cut right up there. Delete those two faces and then dissolve any leftover edges. And you can see we have these weird edges that kind of go like this. This is very frequent and very, very common when you're cleaning up AutoCAD meshes. So I'm gonna hit Alt, right click to select that entire edge, and then I'm gonna X and dissolve edges because we don't even need that edge at all. It doesn't actually add any resolution to our mesh. And I'm going to do the same up here. X, dissolve edges, and then delete this triangle. And that should be good for now. So now I'm going to hit Alt, select this entire edge, deselect the bottom edge, deselect the top edge, and ooh, this selected all the way around the mesh. So I'm just going to hit C and middle mouse to deselect all the edges in the middle. And all the edges I don't want. So that edge too. And I think that's it. Yes. So now that I have all these selected, I can simply extrude on the Y axis and they will all come together and be perfectly smooth. We have gotten rid of the smoothing issue. If I shade this smooth and we can just cap this off like that. Actually, I'm going to take this and I'm going to merge this vertice down merge at last just to reduce the geometry a slight bit. However, if I go into object mode, you can see these weird kind of dark stripes. And so we got to fix those. The problem with those dark stripes is these edges right here along the edge. It's trying to interpolate the curvature because smoothing doesn't actually smooth the edge. It just does some shading trickery to sort of fake it like it is smooth which means edges like this can really throw off those shading calculations. So because we don't need any of this geometry, I'm going to just dissolve edges. And then I'm going to make a knife tool and hit control. So I get the center of these vertices and just finish off that loop cut and hit enter. And now you can see that that dark shading area is completely gone. And we can do the same one down here. So alt select that edge x dissolve edges because whenever you get a weird shading issue more than likely it's because there's some weird geometry that you can just get rid of and that's almost every case now the next thing i want to talk about is something called black geometry now this is from either overlapping geometry which can cause z fighting or concave geometry that is trying to do the uh, drawing calculation, but it doesn't always turn out correctly. These problems can result in black triangles or little black creases along your mesh, like you can see here. 
and this whoops if I zoom in here you can see that that little black area if I move this edge along the x-axis you can see it's because these faces when I move this line over start to overlap with each other and that creates all that black geometry so the easiest way to fix this is to select the edge and just delete the edge because more than likely there's going to be a large edge that is stretching over smaller edges so select that large edge and then just delete it we're not going to dissolve it we're just going to delete it and then there's might be a yep see how there's this big edge that's stretching over smaller edges we can delete that edge too and we want to make sure each one of these edges is its own separate edge and we can hit alt right click to select that entire loop and hit f and then we can simply use the knife tool to patch it off. And I can delete this edge because that edge is useless. If an edge starts in a vertice and terminates in a vertice, then we can just delete it or dissolve it. And we can see now the same thing that causes black geometry can also cause some weird smoothing issues like this little tiny crease here. So in order to fix that, I'm going to select that edge. Yep, that is definitely some overlapping geometry. I'm going to delete it. And if I select this edge, you'll see that it's one big edge select or overarching two smaller edges. So I'm going to delete that edge too. And now each one of these edge, each one of these edges is its own separate edge. I'm going to alt, right click, and then hit F to bridge it. And then I can simply just use the knife tool to triangle this off. Again, I'm not cleaning up the entire mesh, so I'm fine with just making ugly triangles like this. And you can see we have fixed the smoothing issue. However, there are still some smoothing issues up here. I don't know if you can see it on the video. I'll try to do some brightness contrast to show you. Um, but there's this weird triangle right here. Now, if I look from the angle you can see it on the mirrored side and what is looking like are these two triangle maybe these two triangles right here that are creating that weird ugly shading problem now your first instinct might be it's something wrong with these two triangles because these two triangles are the ones that are uh showing the problem however if we look a little bit to the right over here we can see this weird quad that doesn't really have a place um, the rest of the mesh flows. You can see that it kind of goes like this and it's just a straight line up However, we have this area right here. that doesn't quite line up. So What my intuition kind of tells me that I should try to fix this So let's just try using our knife tool and continuing this edge just like that and let's see what happened to the triangle Oh, that fixed our problem so usually it has something to do with the geometry itself. However, if it doesn't, always look at the bordering geometry because bordering geometry can often mess up the calculations that are related to smoothing and give you a lot of weird artifacts. And if we go to the back here, we can see some more black geometry. So go ahead, delete the edge, delete that edge, make sure they're all separate. Oh. That one's not separate, so delete that one too. Okay, they're all separate. Hit Alt, right click. Whoops, Alt, right click. F, and face this off. Now, the last thing I want to tell you, or the last thing I want to show you, is how to improve detail. While Autodesk and these programs tend to generate very physically accurate models um you know accurate down to thousandths of a centimeter they often don't actually export that high resolution of a mesh which is surprising and a lot of them don't even have options to export a really high resolution mesh so as you can see this curve right here this curve that's supposed to be very smooth is very jagged and so i'm going to show you how to clean that up first i see this curve right or uh first i see this area right here which is the one i'm going to be focusing on and if I look at it just for a second, I can see that there is an edge here where it's slightly more detailed. And then there's some edges here. So what I'm thinking is I can just connect those two and then mess with the curve. So I'm going to use the knife tool 
I'm going to cut straight up. I'm going to hit control to make sure the vertices go in the center. Click and hit enter. And then I'm going to simply, let's see, how's this curve? Okay. So I'm going to deselect this edge and then grab down on the Z axis a little bit. Let's go into front view. And as you can see, as I bring this down, I'm adding another step to that curve. And I could do this a hundred more times. I'm going to actually clean up this mesh a little bit to make my job easier. Again, not the cleanest mesh, but I'm working with what I have. And anytime there's a flat edge, I can just do the same thing. For example, here, I can connect right across, select these faces, or these edges, sorry, go into side view, and grab. And just add a little more curve to that curvature. And if I wanted to do that here, I could do the same thing. I could dissolve these edges, make sure it's all quads, because quads are easier to work with. And then I can cut right across, triangulate that off, and I can do this. And I can do that until it has the curvature I am happy with. If this was going to be a really close up render, I might do that 15 more times and get that curve really looking smooth. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fix some of the smoothing. Now, this smoothing isn't necessarily due to a problem with the geometry, but it's how it's trying to render the geometry that is there. If you try to smooth geometry that's very sharp and it's not supposed to be sharp, you're going to get some weird artifacts like this. So in Blender, I'm going to make sure auto smooth is checked just because it's going to make it easier. I'm going to go in and, well, first off, these two vertices are way too close together. So I'm just going to merge these at last. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to select the edges that I want to be sharp. So I can see auto smooth is already uh, sharpening these edges, so I don't really have to select too many of those. So with my sharp edges selected, I'm going to hit control E, uh, mark sharp. And as you can see, that almost immediately gets rid of any problems I'd have down here. There's still a little bit, but with a little more working, I could get it gone. And I can do the same up here. Mark sharp. Okay, and then up here, I can select the last edges that I need to be sharp. Mark sharp. So I need to cap this off first. First off, I'm going to delete this geometry right here. Okay, I'm going to select these faces, which shouldn't be there. I'm going to delete them. And then I'm going to take these. I'm going to merge at center. And then I'm going to merge them to this center vertice. At last. And you can see that we can now just select this edge along the center. Extrude on the Y axis until it clips. And do the same thing with this edge. And then selecting everything and hitting remove doubles. We now have that part capped off. And that is it for today, guys. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned. I have a ton more videos coming up that I think you're really going to like. If you have a suggestion for future tutorials, just leave a comment below and I will see you next time.